friends welcome back to my channel as always i hope you guys are doing safe and well and today i wanted to start off my minimalism journey doing a what i'm not buying in 2022 i've done a list on my phone of i've literally just taken a screenshot wow <laughs> so i've done a list on my phone of 10 things that i'm not buying in 2022 first thing is makeup and i am going to be very upset when i do my makeup declutters because these are things that i've saved up months for like i remember when i did my first set of declutters i decluttered my first ever expensive palette and that was in naked three by urban decay now i want to say i saved up for a month maybe two to buy that palette and then brought it to realize that i'm never going to use it because the colors don't show up on my skin tone so that was a positive waste of money i feel like i needed to buy it because it was the do you remember when it was the hype like no one would stop talking about it so i was like okay i need it but i didn't and i need the naked too but i didn't so in the end i threw those palettes away i feel like i used the naked two palette more than the naked three but anyway it makes me upset to even say this and you're all going to be like it's me not what what some of you will be able to relate most of you i'm going to say no i have over the years probably spent tens of thousands of pounds no what you're thinking on makeup on makeup that expires within three six nine twelve months i could have done so much with that money i'm trying not to feel guilty even though i am i'm sitting here really guilty but it does it makes me so upset because for example i have kept this inglot palette which i spent about 150 pounds on i want to say with each individual like shadow the palette and whatever have I ever used it? Nope. Makeup is always a thing. It's a billion dollar industry which I'm responsible for half of paying towards it. But I am no longer buying makeup. That's it. <laughs> so I'm no longer buying into trends. TikTok is all the trend at the moment with the Dior lip oil and oh my god. I want it so bad. But do I need it? No. Would I like it? Yes. Perhaps I'll put it on, I don't know, my birthday wish list or something. But do I need it? No, like I do not need it. It'd be nice to have it, don't get me wrong, but need? No, no, no. I say I'm not going to buy makeup this year, but at some point I will have to when things run out and yeah things expire. And that's another thing I want to do is date my makeup. When things expire, I will need to buy more, but I'm only buying one of the item I need. And only when it's run out so basically if I keep a lot of this makeup I'd probably for the best part of half years plus won't need any makeup and Han sent me so much makeup she literally sorted me out for about three years so yeah I really don't need any more makeup unless it runs out and it's a need moving on from makeup number two i will not be buying skincare again same rules apply if something runs out then i can go out and buy it and as a replacement to be fair i've even got replacements of things for when they run out so i think again for the best part of half a year maybe a year i don't need any skincare for the makeup i want to minimize my skincare a lot i feel like it will help my skin so much to just literally have two products and try them so when it comes to that point i will tell you what items i have in mind that i want to use and only use them and i would love to do videos of updates and stuff but yeah anyway if you see my skincare video you will see that i have enough to last me and i'm still trying to make my way through them number three candles <sighs> this hurts me to say i love candles and if you saw my Dubai haul, my sister bought me like four or five candles from Bath and Body Works. I will be the type of person to light a candle and be like, oh my god, that smells amazing. But I will never finish it. So I'm not allowed to buy any more candles until I have used, not even one guys, until I have used every single one of my candles, I am no longer allowed to buy any candles. I don't know how many times I've said candles. But we're not buying them or do the same thing they make your house smell nice they feel nice and cozy do i need 20 of them no we have a whole box full i need to get through those candles and honestly if you saw my tk max haul from ages ago massive candle i brought that will probably last me the year on its own again it can be a birthday wish list because i love candles but 
up until October we're now in February I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go through all my candles so that's the point where I can be like okay, I want one candle on my wish list again it's not really essential but it sparks joy it makes me happy it makes me feel cozy and yeah I do not need one candle for every single day of the year like it Samina get it together girl and on to something slightly like different notebooks and diaries <sighs> How many notebooks does one person need? Probably one or none. I have more than words can say, really. A notebook's diary, if it looks cute, you don't need it. You need to appreciate the fact that something can look cute without me buying it and coming home with me, you know? That sounded wrong, but I meant notebooks and stuff, right? I have P. Louise diary that's going to last me the whole year. Have I been using it? No. Whoever's listening to this and it applies to you, you don't, you don't need it, okay? Stop it. <laughs> Number five clothes for when i lose weight now as you all know I've <laughs> i'm on my 88 weight loss journey however this is the final one but i do not need to buy clothes a few sizes small that looks really really nice that's most likely they're on sale and i'm like oh, i'll buy it it's a fiver i'll buy it when i'm a size whatever it will fit me it's cute i like it no i'm not doing that anymore i don't need it I say to myself, Samina, when you're size 12, when you're size 14, whatever, you can buy it and save it till then. No, like this store can hold it for me until then. And then if I go back and it's not there, it wasn't meant to be. It's not for me. Weight loss takes a lot of time. So by the time I brought this item, especially if it's a trending piece, by the time I actually get to wear it, it's no longer going to be a trendy piece and I no longer want it. And then again, it's the whole, I have to do a declutter. We're not buying clothes. For that and also i want to add in a bit like i'm going to sound like a hypocrite but this is something i'm working on start appreciating your body now just because like we're bigger girls and boys why does it mean that we can't dress nicely and i feel like this is such a topic that needs to be discussed because it doesn't matter what size you are you deserve to feel nice you deserve to feel beautiful you deserve to feel nice no matter what size you are stop buying pieces for when you want to gain weight or when you want to lose weight you know start appreciating your body now and start working towards your goals and then buying those pieces of clothes will be so much better and you can invest a little bit more and get better quality things so yeah number six nose rings smina how many nose rings do you need i swear every time i go town i have to buy a nose ring for what i have one nose with one hole but well, actually i've got three if we're being technical but i have one piercing <laughs> that's what i was trying to say i cannot fit 12 jewelry pieces in my nose right now it's one at a time and by the way i love this one that i got recently but anyway i even brought more because they were half price i know don't judge me we're starting this journey from february okay don't judge me how many pieces do you need like i'm honestly wanted to get the other side of my nose pierced but even then I have a lot and new jewellery that I can use for that. I, But anyway, let's talk about just the one that I have. I don't need any more nose rings, okay? I don't need it. I don't need to be wasting my money on nose rings that are sitting in my drawer right now. So, yeah. The more I'm going into this list, the more I'm getting triggered. Number seven. Something my favourite influencers love forward slash social media hype. So, we've already gone through social media hype with makeup and skincare. That's what it tends to be and clothes. But something my favourite influencer loves, okay? I love watching my favourite influencers, obviously, that's why they're my favourite. But just because they're raving about a product does not mean I need it. So this is what extent it's got to nowadays, yeah? I think I was watching Amy Rose Walker's video and she used tan on her face and I was just like, oh my god, should I buy it? Should I use it? I'm just, no, you, you don't need it, Samina. Because xyz influencers wearing it and they look cute like they're in the fields living their best life with some roses and some wheat and getting nettle stings at the same time does not mean that i need to do that or that i need it number eight storage boxes and drawers forward slash desks don't need them storage boxes are usually for when you have things to store them in duh but i feel like i'm gonna have to sell most of mine as time's gone on, as I've brought into my feelings, as I've brought things that I don't need, as my makeup collections got bigger, as my clothing 
collection my bag collection's got bigger i've brought storage boxes to store them in what is the point of just leaving it in a box and if you're not going to use it you know make the most out of your things if you need to put stuff in a storage box and put it in the attic do you really need it you need to put stuff in a storage box box and put it at the back of your closet just in case you don't need it guys so yeah that is something i will not be buying number nine mugs i can't believe i put this in there i literally can't believe i put mugs in there i feel really upset like i feel like i needed to go mug shopping before i did this but oh my god see what i mean no <laughs> so i buy mugs like you wouldn't believe i feel like i left a skin like i'm leaving makeup and skincare and stuff like that and i'm placing it with something else which is mugs how many mugs does one person need you literally wash one and then you can use it again that is the great thing about mugs right but no i have to have i have to buy myself christmas ones i have to buy myself autumn ones i have to buy myself ones that say queen on them just to remind myself that i am a queen but yeah i don't need it i don't need mugs i don't need them most likely a wish list kind of item but i will not be buying mugs no mugs for me and no one take me for a mug either okay thanks number 10 coffee syrups and hear me out the other day i went into tk maxx with my bestie what did i do looked at mugs luckily this guy was just standing there and he would not move right this guy went moving for nothing and i was just like has he found a rare mug or something because this guy just is not Movie. Do you know when you have social anxiety and you don't want to say excuse me to someone? Does someone relate to that? Because that causes me anxiety. But anyway, I was just like, okay, I'm just going to let my hun here live his best life and have a look at this. Did you not when I was there for 15 minutes? And obviously social anxiety was like, no, you're not even going to speak to him. Do not even say excuse me because you're going to trip over fall and embarrass yourself. Like, how does that even work? I don't know. But anyway, so he was stood there for so long and i was just like okay maybe this is a blessing in disguise and then i just had to like peek my head around and be like oh i don't like any mugs when deep down i was like my man's not moving so <laughs> i can't look at him you know such a long-winded story and to cheer myself up i went to the coffee syrup section i picked up cinnamon roll syrup from tk maxx and i love that so much i went to the till and i saw chai a chai syrup and i was like oh my god i need it i need it i need it so obviously i convinced myself at this point that okay Samina, obviously you need it how are you going to breathe anyway, so i brought it it's amazing i already have salted caramel mocha one have my my protein one my home bargains ones i do not need coffee syrups that is a long-winded way of saying that until every single one is finished maybe then but hopefully by then i want to be well into my fitness journey and know that actually a bit of honey in your drink tastes much better i literally probably have like eight coffee syrups on the go it's it's becoming a joke like it's becoming a joke so if you go into your home sense and you're like oh my gosh my coffee syrup is not here that's because it's stored at my house it's sitting there next to the kettle and the coffee machine hoping that today's the day Samina uses me but yeah i just wanted to put this video out there and inspire you guys to be like guys you don't need it you don't need it okay stop buying stop spending money let's get into a positive money mindset let's start talking about money i feel like it's still such a big taboo i'm not saying it like i'm rich and i've got loads of money i haven't but alhamdulillah for what i do have alhamdulillah for even being able to go to asda and buy fruit and veg you know I just want to drop the guilt around money that what i felt which is why i've delayed my minimalism journey this video has gone on for long enough i want to grow this channel i want to make it into my job inshallah one day please remember to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one take care